Right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth in sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. And I was just, um, you know, meditating on a scripture that came out, you know, in a sit down, me and um, two other brothers from the camp did, you know, and um, I was reading above it that scripture here in uh, second Thessalonians, the second chapter. And, you know, it, it made me, it made me think, man, that how, you know, how much we ought to be um, thankful. Okay. Cause for this truth, because, you know, as, as, as uh, you know, the time winds down, you know, and the Lord approaches, you know, it's evident that we are blessed you know, that we have been given the truth. We know what is going to befall us blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans in the latter days. We understand uh, biblical prophecy and, and, and what's going to be played out according to the will of the Most High, okay, through his son, Yahweh Shai. And a lot of people, they don't, they don't know that. You know, they're, they're not teaching that in these churches. They're, they're not privy to to what the prophecies state, you know. So we have to we must be thankful. We must be humble and we must continue to fight the good fight of faith. You know. We must offer up, you know, our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. You know, that, that's the least that we can do for this knowledge that has been bestowed upon us, you know, because, you know, we understand the spirit of error through the spirit, us brothers, you know, and, and the, you know, and, and I'm going to speak too for, you know, the, you know, the Akwafium out there, you know, the sisters, you, you know, you understand the spirit of error among the people that are around you. You know, you see who gets it and who don't, you know, who, who understands, you know, the Israelite thing and who don't. OK, because you got you, a lot of people who claim to be Israelites, but they really don't they really don't understand. You know. What this what this knowledge is about, what we've come into this, this spiritual awakening, this this gathering. OK, but we do, you know, we, we, we get it through the spirit. You know. As a whole, because I'm going to say this, you know, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we do we do. uh miscarry you know we we we, we do we we're not saying that we're you know super duper israelites but you know through the most part we we you know the lord is is with us you know and and that's that's evident that's evident the lord he he's raising up a a a, 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 a you know certain spirits man and, and 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 we found the truth here you know amongst the apostles the elders and the brothers this body amongst each other you know and not, and not everyone can say that man you know, and I'm saying that humbly. I'm not saying that, you know, in, in pride, you know, we have to continue to pray and, 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 and you know, with all supplication for the saints, man, that, that we continue in this knowledge. But I'm going to start here. This is Second Thessalonians 2 and 10. It says, with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. OK. There's going to be. People that perish. OK, starting with the nation of Edom. You know, the, the other nations as well. And two thirds. There is going to be people that perish, man. Uh, 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 you know, the scriptures say, let the multitude perish that was born in vain. This is because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. But we have received the love of the truth. OK. The Lord has given us. OK, the secrets, you know. The Lord has given us the understanding of, of, of dark sentences, of the, of the mysteries, of the scriptures, the prophecies, you know, starting with, 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 lead, with our leaders, with the apostles. It says, and for this cause, the most I shall send them strong delusion. So those that are deceived and living in unrighteousness that are going to perish, they, they, they live in a strong delusion. And you can see the delusion that they live in. Let's get this word delusion and see what it says. Strong's G, 4106. Plane. Plane.
Giovanni. A wandering, a straying about, or led astray from the right way, roams hither and thither, right? They're carried away with every wind of doctrine. Wandering, straying about, me metaphor, mentally strained, error, wrong opinion relative to morals or religion. They have a strong delusion. They have a strong opinion that is wrong, okay, that, you know, regarding morals and religion. Error which shows itself in action, a, ro a wrong mode of acting, error that which leads into error, that which leads into error, deceit or fraud. Okay. And you got to, you, you, you do have, you know, you do encounter, you do witness, you do know people, you brothers and you sisters out there that they have a wrong opinion about morals and religion. You know, they have a wrong mode of acting. Okay, they're, 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 they live in deceit and or fraud. They themselves are fake. You know, there's there is fake people out there that put up put up a show, you know, for others to like them. Okay, or they're deceitful. You know, then themselves are are very deceitful. You know, but we learn through the Spirit, through the Scriptures, you know, how to conduct ourselves. You know, we don't roam about with doctrines. We are we are solidified in in what we believe in. You know, we're not led astray easily by no by nobody. You know, we search things out. OK, because you're not going to deceive the elect. But, a, but as it says, and for this cause, the most I shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie and they're believing lies. You know, here it is. We tell our people that, that, that your, your God and your Messiah looks like you and they refuse. They refuse to believe it. OK, here it is. We tell uh, people that they're Israelites, you know, and they're sons and daughters of the most high and they want to be Africans. They want to be uh, Mexicans. You know, they want to be uh, uh, everything but what 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 they're not. So, yeah, they, they 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 have a strong delusion, man, that they should believe a lie. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in righteousness and ultimately you know they're done because they don't believe the truth you know and that's really what it comes down to is that they don't believe the truth okay you know it, well ultimately I'm going to say this you know they, they don't believe the truth but ultimately they're not chosen to believe this knowledge and this truth which is a secret but we do and that for that we must be very thankful with it OK, and the next verse goes into that. But I'm going to finish this is that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness, man. OK, because the the, the two thirds Esau, Edom, these other nations, those that are going to those that those as a whole that are going to be that are going to perish. It's because they have pleasure in unrighteousness. The, the, their lot is to believe lies and to live in unrighteousness and to strong and to and to stand firmly on that. OK, because they, they didn't receive that love of the truth. OK, it says Second Thessalonians 2 and 13. But we are bound to give thanks all way to the most high for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord. So here's 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 Paul speaking that, that, that you know, he was he was always thankful to you. How about for those that believed? This is because the most high. And, and this is the point, because the most high have from the beginning chosen you to salvation. You see, the most high has chosen you from the beginning. You are a best of your of your kind. You understand and, and are capable and are chosen and selected to understand truths that other people, they, they're just not chosen to understand it. OK, because the most high has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. OK. Do you were chosen to what? To salvation, through sanctification, through what? Through purification. You were chosen to be purified. You were chosen to, you know, come into the earth in your many incarnations. And we believe in reincarnation and to always receive the truth. And it wasn't of what you did. It was of the most high. Yahweh Shai, purification, consecration, the effect of consecration, a sanctification of heart and life. Okay.
let's get this word real quick. Let's go to sanctification real quick in the etymology dictionary. Right. You were chosen to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and truth. Let's get this sanctification real quick. The act or fact of being made holy. You were chosen to be made holy. You were chosen to, to the, the, you know, to, to be imparted the Holy Spirit, to get understanding, to be saved, to get the truth. A religious ceremony in which something is made holy. Okay. To make holy. Consecration, right? Sanctification of heart and life. You were you were chosen, okay, to salvation through what? Through the to you know through the sanctification. You were made holy through the Spirit and belief of the truth, man. You know, this word it sanctifies you. Th this word makes you holy. It cleanses you. It dedicate. It, it consecrates you. It makes you be more dedicated to the Heavenly Father. You know. And in turn, you believe in the truth more and more, okay? Because you see the spiritual things. You you understand the, the spiritual lessons. You understand how the spirit works. You understand that the Most High has imparted you, okay, his, his, his way of thinking. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai, you know? We've been given of his spirit, his knowledge, his wisdom, his understanding. Whereunto he called you by our gospel, and you were called by the gospel of the apostles and their special men. I'm gonna just I'ma say that to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast. And we have to stand fast. Okay. Strong's G 4739. Stako. Stay to stand firm, to persevere or persist, to keep one standing, right? You have to keep your standing, you know, keep your position. To persist, you have to stand firm. It says, therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you have been taught, right? Hold the traditions, brothers, which you've been taught by the elders, by the apostles and elders, you know, and those that came in before you. It says, whether by word or epistle, right? Personally, what they spoke to you or by what? You know, epistles, you know, the videos, you know, because this this truth is speaking to us directly, you know, and we are those men coming back, man. We are the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. We are those those apostles and prophets and disciples and teachers and, and that remnant coming back. You know how beautiful is that? It says now our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashak himself and the most high, even our father, which hath loved us. He hath loved us. Okay, even though we catch hell, he, he still loves us, man. That, that, that's part of being in the knowledge. That's part of being counted worthy, enduring hardships. Okay, because the Lord's whipping us for our miscarries. It says, it says, now our Lord, Yahushua HaMashach himself and the Most High, even our Father, which hath loved us, hath given us everlasting consolation. The comforter, he's always there, man, you know. He's with his right arm. He, he shall sustain thee, man. He's always holding on to us, you know, giving us consolation and good hope through grace. It's all his it's grace, man. He has favor on us. OK, he, he's he's really, really he's helping us, man. You know, it, it, almost in, in you know, it behind the scenes, you know, angels all around us. You see that? Everlasting consolation and good hope through grace comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. You see, so yes, brothers, we have much to be thankful for, man, because we, you know, through the Spirit, we understand, we see. So let us continue in 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 in, in the traditions, okay, that we have been taught, man, okay, because. This is the way, brothers. This this is this is uh, this is the way to salvation. This is the way back to Yahweh Bashim Shai, this body, this 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 ministry, you know. Okay, so this is just something on my spirit. Like I said, uh, we have brought out this scripture right here on the 16th verse. And you know, I was just pondering on it, that everlasting consolation. I was like, wow, man, we do have everlasting consolation, man. The Lord's always consoling us. He, 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 you know, he, 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 he was tempted in every which way, but he was perfect, you know? So, you know, that's something, you know, to, to, to lean upon these words always. 
Okay, the Heavenly Father, he's there with us and he's giving us the truth, you know. So we have to be uh, thankful always, brethren, because the Lord has chosen us from the beginning to salvation, man. Okay, through the sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth, man. We believe truths, nothing but true, not half truths, not partial truths, whole truth. Okay, so Lord willing, this video was edifying and exhorting to you, brothers, to the next time. I want to say Shalom.